Hi, I'm really excited to walk you through the foundations of Recall, uh, which is our graph database. Now, a graph database is just like any other database, except a graph database is semantic. That's because there's meaning by linking things that are connected. And that's really the foundation of Recall. Um, the beauty of the knowledge graph is that it's self-organizing. It lends itself to expansion. So if you're doing research, uh, this type of uh, connection can really help you unlock new things. And another part that's great is that it lends itself to active recall. So when you're looking at content, you can actually see past content that may have mentioned something. So let me just show you how this works. If I take, uh, let's say, for example, this video, and I hit the browser extension, and just a reminder, there's many ways that you can get data into recall. The browser extension is just one of them. If you then scroll down, what you'll see is these entities. Now, entities are keywords that have been extracted from the core content um, that is really relevant to that content. And when I then save these entities into recall, what you'll see is, let's give it a second, these entities now have numbers next to them. And these numbers are the number of times that something was already mentioned within Recall. So for example, if I click on collagen, I can see that I have another episode uh, that mentions collagen. If I want to know what collagen is, I can also hit the expand button and it will actually enrich this entity with a bit more information on collagen and what that is. Now, these links are really the foundation of that graph. And there's two ways that you can see the graph database you can click uh, this graph view, and that will make the card you're looking at the center and expand it out. Or you can see all of your cards in a graph by just clicking graph in the top left-hand corner, and this sort of explodes showing you every card in your knowledge base and how it's connected. I can then hone into a particular topic. Uh, so let's say I look at longevity. This would then be my longevity knowledge graph. I can then zoom in and have a look at things that I see that come up. I can expand them once again, and I can see how they are related uh, to all the other cards within my knowledge base. Uh, now, coming back to my example that I had just shown you on skin health, I can also add my own entities. So if there are entities here that don't exist or that I want to delete, so say, for example, YouTube, I don't really want that in here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just delete it. Uh, then I can just edit it and delete it, or I can add my own. So for example, if I'm in this episode and I can see that they are mentioning a bunch of food that I could either eat um, to enhance my gut biome, which then enhances my skin health, uh, I can then turn them into entities myself. So let's say in this example, I highlight sauerkraut. I can then click this lightning bolt, uh, click sauerkraut, and it's then been added as an entity. So now you see sauerkraut here. Uh, you can see sauerkraut's been mentioned two other times in my knowledge base to recipes. And I can then again hit that graph view and sort of see how sauerkraut's at the center and all of the things that it relates to. I'll leave it at that. You could have a ton of fun with your graph view, whether you're doing research on a particular topic uh, or looking to just connect information that's related or unlock connections you otherwise wouldn't have seen. I hope you have fun uh, playing around with graph view. Thank you.